Welcome to ASMTG. Before we jump into today's deck, I wanna say thank you to everybody out there. We just hit our one month on YouTube, and I can't believe the support I've got from every single one of you. So many great comments, deck ideas, suggestions. I love all of it, so keep it coming. And we are also able to finish the season in the top 1200 Mythic. So if you've never actually been able to do that on your own, I want you to see kind of what it looks like. So you're gonna get a message, and it's gonna look just like this. You place in the top 1200, you could click on it, and it's gonna let you know what you could do with it, and you get your qualifier play in. And so let's go ahead and claim it right now. And then we get our 20 play in points that you could then use to plan that qualifier event later on. So just in case you've never actually done it on your own, I wanted you to see what happens when you actually get it. Not too much fanfare, but still always fun to get that at the end of the month. All right. So let's go into our decks today. So this week we are playing Budget Magic. The whole reason behind it is I've received a lot of comments from people who said, I can't build that deck. I don't have enough rares. I don't have enough mythics. And that happens on Arena. If you're not out there hammering all the time or consistently drafting, it's really hard to get those rares. And you might want to have a free to play account like myself. And so you don't want to be putting in money to be buying those rares and things like that. But you still want to have a fun deck that could go out there and be competitive. So with my rules for a Budget Magic deck, it's going to be less than six rares, and it's a deck that's going to cost less than $50, because I also have some of you out there who've told me, you go to local tournaments, you like to play Magic in person as well. So this deck will actually only cost you $23 if you buy the entire thing in paper. Now, before we get too far into it, I am only using two rares in this one. And one big thing I would definitely change is I would add in some rare lands. And that goes for any beginner. Anytime you're building a deck, start with those rares. I know it's not that sexy purchase to spend those wild cards on, but it is the best thing you could do for a deck to help with it especially one like this because we have a lot of one and two drops you can't miss the mana so if i end up drawing only islands and i'm sitting with all red cards that's a huge problem by having four of these shimmer reefs in here it would help out a ton but i wanted to keep the deck even cheaper and only have the two rares now maybe you're somebody like me who you have all the rares so why would you want to play a deck like this i mean if you look at my account right now i have 221 rare wild cards i could use 153 mythic and i pretty much own all the cards i have need in standard anyway but i still enjoy playing decks like this the reason why is 99 percent of us we started with budget decks okay we had only one or two rares and it was just mostly commons and uncommons that we we're playing and i still get some thrills and excitements with playing decks like this because you feel like the underdog the entire time you come from behind you get the those victories, you feel so much better than you normally would when you're playing, playing that super powerful deck. I also, I personally, I really love to draft. I find those games to be incredibly exciting. They're really long, they're grindy. You're using these little things and little small tricks to get those advantages and win the game. And when I play with some budget decks, it kind of gives me those same feels as well. That's why I'm just so excited to play for this week. So let's go ahead and look at our deck, which we're gonna go with some budget is it. The whole goal here is we wanna be playing an equal amount of creatures and spells. So we have 19 creatures and we have 19 spells. And the big problem with decks like this is you run out of firepower. That's why our two rares are going to be the Tormented Prophet here. So this means anytime I would draw a card, exile the top two cards of your library instead. That way, instead of me just getting that one card per turn, I'm getting those two. And because everything in this deck is so cheap, we'll usually be able to play both those cards every single turn. Our most expensive thing is to stoke the flames, but the goal is we're going to have our third path on the field, and hopefully we have a bunch of those little 1-1 one -one tokens. So now that stoke the flames will only cost that two red mana. That is the whole goal of it. We also have our one drops in Delver of Secrets and the Monetary Swift Spear. Both fantastic one drops that do great when we have lots of spells in the deck. If you're able to flip over your Delver on turn one, a lot of times you could keep swinging in and gaining a victory just with that. A 3-2 flyer in the air puts them on a serious clock and it's no joke. Then you add in, this is kind of a secret burn deck. We have four play with flyers, we have four lightning strikes, and those three stoke the flames. So that is enough burn to help finish off the game. So this deck is meant to go quick, swing through. It's gonna run into big problems though with some sweepers. It's gonna run into problems with any type of life gain and Sheldred is our absolute worst nightmare. But other than that, it should be a really fun, exciting deck to go. I don't necessarily think any of these budget decks are gonna be these black belts throughout the week, but the whole idea is we wanna get some new players into the game. We wanna give you something competitive that you're able to go out there, hammer, 
Will it get you to Mythic? Eh, that's a tough call, but it could definitely be getting you into the higher ranks and getting you up into Diamond. And then hopefully you're able to get enough cards and you start to build on these decks until you finally have a full arsenal and you could be playing some of those tier one style decks. So if you haven't already done it, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe. We're looking for more nerd assassins to join our army. And most importantly, make sure you stay to the end of the video. And that's when I'm gonna let you know what Jiu-Jitsu belt this deck deserves. So let's go ahead and hit the ladder and get this budget nonsense underway. All right, we don't have our one drop, but we'll keep it. A two third paths could really help out. Feels great to be back in the chair. I want to say thank you to everybody who gave me all those positive comments while I wasn't feeling well. Still a little under the weather. The throat's still hurting, but I'm starting the road to recovery. I actually got COVID for the very first time and happened to be from my best friend. We did a guy's trip where we went backpacking, so I literally saw nobody else. He was the only person I had any interaction with. I'm going past that and I get back I, I call him it's like man I'm really under the weather my body's feeling fatigue and I got this terrible sore throat he was like oh man that sucks he was like I was feeling bad right before our trip I was like thanks for letting me know now he was like well I was like I got COVID he was like oh I don't think I had COVID I wonder where you got that from I was like are you kidding me uh I've literally seen nobody but you for the past five days so yeah so that, that that's my story there Besides sore throat, though, the COVID hasn't been too bad, so I'm happy and lucky about that. But I, I just don't know if my throat's my weak point. I am a teacher, and so I talk all the time. And so, and then obviously I'm doing these videos now too. So that just could be my weak point, and that's where I feel it the most. I'm not really sure. Would love another mountain. But let's just get two of these online. Looks like they're probably that toxic plan, draw a bunch of cards. Nah, it's not worth trying to trade off here. Especially with the green up, they could have the invincibility spell. So, all right, there's the Rod Priest. They're gonna start popping off soon. I need a second mountain so I could double play with fire. There it is. On command, I like it. All right, go ahead and protect you. Uh, they could have two protection spells. That's really gonna hurt. Yep, fires one off. And do you have the second? If they do... All right, they don't. Whew. I was gonna say, that was gonna be four poison for me. All right, we like that. Let's go ahead and just pass. Getting a little, ooh, goodbye. All right, not our best deck. Don't have the one drops we like. We're just going to try it out, though. It's got that nice, ew, good one drop. We got that nice, easy first victory, so let's keep that little heater going. All right, so good chance we got a five color ramp. Really would love to get another mountain set of this island. I don't draw it. I'll have to use Ancestor first. Oh, we draw it, though. And they miss. They were going first, right? They missed their land drop. Okay. Because this will actually get a counter, that's the reason I put it over on the Swift Spear. Because if they were to kill one, I'd rather they actually kill the Swift Spear. Because this now will stay 2-3. Well, the Swift Spirit needs that instant or sorcery every single turn to get bigger. All right, at least we got Trample. Ooh. Ooh. Do we wait on you? I think we're going to wait a little longer there. Let's go ahead and draw our card first. All right, Lightning Strike him to the face. I honestly, I, I have no clue what deck they are playing right now. I mean, we got green, blue, white, so we have Bant. Uh, it it's, doesn't look like five color ramp because they don't play Sunset Revelry. We don't want to put any more creatures down. They could have what, temporary lockdown now? So popular lately. Everybody's just running this card. So we're gonna go ahead and play the Prophet now. Go ahead and pass the turn. 
Yeah, this card before the bans, you didn't see at all. Now it's just everywhere. I mean, it is because aggro has taken a little uptick, and so we need to deal with it even faster. Okay, return in my hand. Let's go ahead and throw out our burn now. You have a counter too, negate, okay. Oh, now we at least know we could drop this, no worries. And we'll be able to stoke the flames as well at their end turn. Let's double check their lands. All right, so let's try it out. A little risky because they have Wandering Emperor mana now, so I did tap myself. All right. Well, we could play everything. Does it get in? Can we drop drop them to four? Deluge, help them find their answers. They're not dead yet on my turn. We still are gonna have to draw instant or sorcery, but at least we get two looks at it. Nervously eat our food, holy wait. I wish the board had more interaction than just that little bit of food you could play with. How great would that be if they use a farewell and they actually do everything, get rid of their little enchantment? A Jace. Okay. Like our position. All right. Don't even give me my satisfaction. All right. We would like our Delver on turn one. We want to be that lucky person who gets to flip that thing right off the bat. See what we're up against, though. Okay, allows us to play it. Already with four lands. This is definitely a deck you don't want too much. I'm only running 22, which should be fine. Double striker. Yeah, I gotta take care of you right off the bat. Decline and another land. We do not like that. So you would obviously love here to play. Maybe I do though. Can I let you live a turn? You know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to let it live a turn. We're going to see what we could do about this. I'm playing just a straight toxic deck. Yeah, we're going to take it. Feels like they have a pump spell, so maybe they have that invincibility one as well. Decline. All right, now we take care of you, though. Can't attack in, though, so no attack. And we're top decking now. We need some spells. Yeah. Swing it in. I'm going to take two more toxic. Even faster than the toxic, though, just that big old 5-5 five five is going to get me killed. Still can't flip. Now, too much land. Not where it's at. And yeah, this deck, I mean, I'm sitting here wondering right now if I need to adjust this. Maybe 20 lands is the way. No, let's just take it. I feel like they have the pump up spell. My only chance anyway here is to get a little burn in hand to kill off. Swing in for a big attack. Oh, another bloated. That's gonna be it. Yeah, I'll reveal it a little late, buddy. Gonna need to hit a couple instants. At least I hit another. Not enough firepower to get through though. I mean, it'd force him to block, wouldn't it? I mean, it's technically legal. Yeah, we'll just swing in. I can't win anyway. Blocks right there. Oh. 
Okay, I'm, I would be happy with that. They're still gonna win, so. But you do have the pump up, invincible. Yeah, there it is. No, no, give them their victory. Don't like to concede, good game. Like to give that satisfaction. Good game, sir. All right, we like the hand. Go and keep it. Hopefully, we can get our Delver this time to flip nice and quick. And the one thing to remember, too, is we are currently playing in Platinum. So even though this is a budget deck that's really great if you're kind of that bronze, silver, gold, we're starting off in Platinum. And not only that, it could maybe compete in Platinum later in the month. But we're playing in Platinum on the very first day when we're going against all those other Mythic players. All right, we're going to try and get this down. So really, this is a, a true test. This is basically the same thing as playing this deck in Mythic because the only people you are seeing in Platinum right now are people that were Mythic before because they've now reset to this level. Oh, well. If you like one third path, well, you might as well like two. Next turn, these can start popping off if it's able to live another turn. Especially, it looks like we're up against a counter style deck or maybe an enchantment deck that runs that. That's, that's interesting. All right, let's go ahead and get some 1-1s. One it's the Delver. What do I like better? I think I like Delver better right now. All right, let's just pass. Love all this card draw with this deck right now. Interesting choice to play the Naturalist, even though they know I have the Lightning Strike. Decline that. I think we start Lightning Strike. I can't let Life Gang happen. Uh, we want you to grow, though, too. So let's come on down. Lightning Strike. Get some more 1-1s. One can't let a big Life Linker stay on that board. No attacks. There's a part that wants to get rid of the Visitor because it's going to get so large, but that Life Link is a little more dangerous. We're going to draw whatever we need to oh, decline. More important to draw cards right now than play my Ruth. Let's see what we're able to find. Don't get it. Do I draw again? Oh, I hate this. I really want to find that play with fire. Yeah, we're doing it again. misses all right if there was a chance for the play with fire though we kind of had to go for it right there now we're looking for our captain now we have a force here that the captain could do some damage oof yep you're gonna be a four four things could start slipping away here reveal that a turn late my friend at least we could start going in in the air Let's do it this way. See how they want to block. They're able, if they're willing to give up their naturalist, I will take that all day long. Nope, they don't. We'll save our our play with fire. It almost feels like drawing three cards because we at least get to see that top card. And with the amount of mana we have, oh, nice. Well, it's a shame. All right, three, four. Ruth is going out. They need seven. They already have four. Oh, my. This is... Oh. Okay. Eight, six. My turn. Got to go face. 
Man, one captain. Oh, there's the captain. We just don't have the instance or sorcery. All right. Get the captain down. Three in the air. They, if they if they drop two enchantments though, they're just gonna swing in and. Well, all I need though, one instance of sorcery, and we have a field. All right, they're gonna get another land, and they're up to six. This looks like it could be lethal. Yep, that's lethal. Ah, they just beat me to it. That was a good fun game though. Alright, alright, that's enough. I love that name. Very online dad. Nice. Oh, there needs to be a way where you could shout out and say, love the name. All right, we'll keep this. Hopefully get some giant tramplers. Get that out of your hand. Delver, you're a turn late, little buddy. Next turn, at least we could double drop. Tough decision for Model Red because they want to get rid of this early because they are worried about it getting too big and just becomes a giant blocker for them. All right. Ooh, do we double Delver? Pardon me wants to, but. All right, swing in for one. So next turn, even if I don't draw land, I could put the Delver down and then I could do the Ren's Resolve as well. All right, 15, gonna swing in, hit me for another two, plus whatever burn they might have. Okay, finally using some of the burn to get rid of my infantry. No blocks. I'll reveal that. Get my flip. We're gonna wait just another turn. Swing it in. I know they're thinking like, what do I think? I'm the beat down. I'm sitting here trying to race them right now. All right, do they have a two drop they could turn? No. Oh, if they don't get the bonus off the commando, that's huge. Oh, and we'll reveal that as well. Oh, we are cooking. We are cooking. We want we want a mountain. We want a mountain. Wah, wah, wah. All right. No, let's swing it. Ooh. I'm at. Let's think for a second. Let's hold one back. So we have lethal on our turn. We want at least one blocker. Cause if I give no blockers, that's four damage plus whatever burn they might have had. Okay. We'll take three. Let's see if this could stick. Good game. Look at us last game out racing mono red. I'm gonna save our play with fire. Unless they have a monstrous one drop on us, we just have to take care of. Now we can let you. Question is, do I just play a Ruth on turn three? I think I do. If they have a Brutal Cathar, they'll use it. And I can just play with fire their Brutal Cathar. I like that plan. 
Well, Athalia, especially with them dropping Athalia on me. All right, let's pass the turn. There's the Brutal Cathar. Just as planned. Alright, get a Delver down. Just take care of Thalia. Let's pass the turn. Let's see if they decide to attack in at all. They do. Do I let them keep their 1-1? One, one? No. Drop their forces. All right, let's see what we get. We will reveal that. Play. Get you bigger. We like it. What's more important here? Creatures or some damage to the face? Let's see how they want to block. Mm, no, I want to keep you behind. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Swing in just for four. I think we're going to actually try and go with the race. So we're going to go to the face. Because if I'm able to flip my Delver again, I mean, we got six coming in the air and I'll be able to get some chump blockers. If they have another Brutal Cathar, though, if they're able to take away my profit, that is some serious trouble for me. I really need this card draw. Okay. Adeline's gonna come in for sure. All right. I'm gonna block there. Do I just kill Adeline? No, I'm gonna. I'm going to go with the slow plan of just using some chump blockers for now. Reveal. Give me that ins. Ah, don't get it. Decline. All right. Oof. That's big. That's big. Hit him in the face. Just double check this. Uh, end of my turn, right? This turn, yeah. So, all right, go face. I mean, can we beat a mono white human deck? I mean, they're at seven. If I'm able to get the flip, I'm gonna swing in for the victory. They're digging. Hey, Skrell, that's not gonna hurt me. I win. Alright, we'll keep that. Who's that budget deck now? We just beat Mono White Humans, Mono Red Aggro with this deck. We're sitting here with two rares in it. Absolutely fantastic. Let's see what they're playing. Decide which two drop we're going to go with. Blue means we're going with our third path. Really would love a mountain over another island. Ooh, Ledger Shredder. Don't want a double spell. All right, let's go another third path. We need to get wide. Oh, we got Demir. Okay. With Ledger Shredder. Ooh, I'm very curious. What would they got working here? Should be a fun deck. Another Ledger Shredder. Those boys are going to get big. I'd love the double spell.
Can't let them draw more cards, though. Use your cut down now. No, a spell pierce. Um, I'm gonna pay it. I am not gonna double spell this turn anyway, so totally okay with that. Nice. Stoke the flames on their turn. Let's do it right on their upkeep. Put a stop. Love that convocability with this deck. All right. So they didn't have another counter. Oh, shell. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that is my worst nightmare. Mm, definitely don't want to draw extra cards. We need the Delver. So we need this to flip for us. We'll pass the turn. We'll lightning strike again. Oh, I didn't deal with you all day, no problem. Make me discard a card, I'm okay with that. Really? You're gonna make me sack a creature? Okay. I, I've got plenty. I've always hated crowds. Alright, we really need an instant off the top, though. We need that Delver to start swinging in. <laughs> a little early. Welcome back. We just got done with day one of our budget decks, and we ended up going 50-50. I didn't show all those games because the games we lost, it was kind of slaughters. And it's to be expected, right? We have two rares in this deck, and also you have to realize this season just reset. So we're in platinum with this deck, going against all the other people who were just in Mythic as well. So they're playing their best decks. They're racing to try getting back to Mythic. It's not a standard, normal platinum that you'd be playing in. Okay, this is all Mythic players we're going against. So we're going against that kind of top tier competition. Even with that said, if you get to Platinum, I wouldn't necessarily say play this deck. This is for sure the type of budget deck you want to play. If you're in bronze, if you're in silver, if you're in gold, if you're a beginner player and you just don't have the cards, this deck will get you through those levels without question. Okay. So as far as which Jitsu belt I give it, I have to give it a white belt right now. If I'm able to add those four lands, so if I take away two mountains, two islands, and I put in four rare lands that could be either an island or a mountain, once I do that, I'm going to give this deck a blue belt. But for now, the way it is, it is a white belt because it's kind of a one-trick pony. It could be fast. It could be explosive, right? You saw us beat mono white humans. You saw us beat mono red aggro. Probably the two best aggro decks in all the format. So it does have that potential. You could get those great starts and really blast through somebody. But when you play lots of games, you're going to end up kind of with that 50-50 record, maybe even a little lower than that when you're going consistently against that top tier style deck. It's still a ton of fun. I like it. Now, as far as the two rares, if you don't play with a Ruth, I think you're going to be in trouble. I think this card is definitely needed because you run out of that firepower. You saw it happen to us in a few of our games, and some of the games I didn't show you, it was we were just drawing too many lands. There was part of me that even wanted to drop down to 20. So if you do test this deck out, give it a shot. Try out 20 lands, make sure four of those are rare, and then see how this deck will perform for you. But as far as a budget deck goes, I mean, let's face it. $23, you buy this in paper. You're going to go out there. You're going to have some fun with it. If you're playing here on Arena, two rares crafting, that's not too big of a deal. And you can still be fairly competitive. I promise you, it'll at least get you to platinum. But getting you into diamond, if you only play this deck, I don't think it'll quite happen yet. You'll have to start getting some other style of decks. But let's face it, getting at least a platinum if you're a brand new player and you don't have to invest much, I think is a pretty good deal. And I think it's a ton of fun. It reminds me of playing some of those limited games where you're a little underpowered. So I really enjoyed myself. Make sure you stay tuned tomorrow where we're going to play our second budget deck. Remember, you're an ace.